Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Roller, and today I would like to show you some of our uh, favorite stocks for 2020. I also would, uh, would like to give a short summary of the whole year because for trading it was a super interesting year with a lot of possibilities, also a lot of things what might um, not work uh, or not run in the direction what you want to have or what everyone uh, want to see or was um, assuming how it will move. But in total it was really, I think for most of the traders, a quite um, good year, trading year. And um, to give you like some ideas of um, some stocks which are working or which are some of our um, best performers, I go to our blog in, uh, from our website. The last um, symbol was Apple, uh, what we had uh, quite recently here um, last week. And um, I think with Apple there's also a lot of possibilities um, um, for the next year, but also plug power. Plug power, for example, we had twice this year, not only in our blog here, also in our weekly trading um, sessions. Tesla was also yeah, a super interesting um, stock for the, for the whole year, maybe also for the next couple of months. Of course, with the vaccination, um, we also had um, Pfizer and some some other stocks. But to give you also something um, outside of these um, uh, the regions, I also want to see um, how by Beyond Meat was moving this year. What we also had in our portfolio, and like you can see here, Apple and Plug Power was already there um, a few weeks ago. And um, you can also double check all these um, if you go directly to our blog. Um, we can see here, for example, Tesla and also some other interesting um, stocks like General Electric. And um, just to give you some ideas, some information here, in the next step, I would like to go a little bit more detailed in the chart itself. And um, I would start with the same what we had on our blog with Apple, Apple stock, because here we can see that Apple was um, in March after um, Corona crisis started at the beginning of March, went down from, yeah, it was 80, 90 dollars in January, went down to 55, what was really good um, comparing to other stocks. And from the lowest point here, end of March, to the highest point end of August what was 140 almost 140 dollar um, Apple made more than 100 percent from the lowest to the highest and if you check the last years um, yeah I think a year like this for Apple we have to go many years back to see the same performance from the lowest to the highest point and I think still if you see the day to day um, there's still a lot of possibilities for the next um, next weeks so or for the next year as well so Apple was the latest um, from our block trades but also block plug power with the symbol PLUG um, you can see um, it was I don't want to say a penny stock but um, if we see um, it in May it was with $2.50 it was even having a good volume, but um, since June, end of June, it really moved here from, yeah, let's say, what is this? This is $5 from almost $5 to now $35. So quite significant uh, performance. And we are here at the yearly high or all time high for plug, plug power. And um, yeah, we also saw it in the volume, quite interesting um, stock, maybe also for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, after Black Power, I would like to have a look in our, yeah, I would say two most famous uh, electric car producers. First of all, Tesla. Tesla was, um, yeah, after or during the crisis below $100. I think it was around um, 60, 60, 70 dollars the lowest course, uh, the lowest price here. And now the highest we had and 700. So we um, talk about 10 times uh, higher price what we had here in March. And that's where you can see how crazy um, the movements uh, was this year, especially after the crisis. Um, yeah, Tesla 
not only double the price, uh, it's now 10 times the price from the lowest point in, um, in Mirage. And for NEO, we have, the, yeah, I think, the highest performance in total because NEO was almost a penny stock, I would say, at the beginning of the year. If you see here the end of the last year, uh, it's just a bit bad because we can't see. I will make it a little bit smaller to have the price section also available for you. Um, yeah, you can see here, for example, this was two dollars, around two dollars um, at the beginning of the year, and in the moment or the highest price, what we have here for Neo. It's um, almost $57. So from $2 to $57, I think this was really the best performer if we see the whole year in total. Of course, um, in the Corona times, it also, um, I don't want to say moved down a lot because it was not um, yeah, performing the same way like our big stocks. That's why you can't see any change for NEO, especially it's also China stock and China this time was already like uh, in a normal condition again but uh, what happened here in june in june um, beginning of june it really started where we had prices also um, yeah two dollar fifty not higher than this and from june till beginning of november from two dollar fifty to fifty seven dollars um, in total and um, I think from all these stocks, what we will present here, this was really from the performance, the craziest um, um, symbol or the craziest um, company from everything what we had here. But to show you some other good examples, we will also see one of the biggest um, um, yeah, benefits from the Corona crisis, even when the crisis started, was Zoom. ZM, I think anyone had it or almost everyone had this in his watch list or even in his portfolio. Um, here the value was also 60, 70 dollars at the beginning. Now in the highest range we almost reached 600 dollars. Um, so you can see Zoom really went up quite, um, quite heavily. Um, I'm not sure if there's still a big potential for the next year because the movement for this year um, for yeah, product what is at the end just um, like online application to have meetings. It's um, it's different than, than Apple or other stocks which have maybe um, a better outlook for, for the next year. But Zoom should be also mentioned if we speak about good stocks for this year. But I also want to show you another um, stock from the last few weeks. It's General Electric. It's still not um, on the same price level what we had at the beginning of the year but we are coming closer to at least the price level what we had and especially only the performance from October till what we have here um, till beginning of December. In this two months the stocks almost doubled here from the lowest price um, what was around um, yeah, $6, $5.50 was the lowest this year now we reached $11.50 and in this two months uh, we really made a good profit with only general electric options and i think this was so far black power i showed you these stocks um, which are really made a good performance for this year now we want to go um, in the overview about um, yeah some performance of our depot and then in the after this, I also want to show you some disappointing uh, values, some disappointing stocks or some industry what it was quite disappointing this year. Here we have an overview um, for the performance uh, from the Trader Brook Station. This is just one of our um, portfolios. I think everyone who is working with the client portal or the um, interactive broker you can see here for example just the last month where we have a um, performance of two percent per month it's really conservative um, um, investment we can also see here a year to date because then you will realize this portfolio just started um, at the beginning of may we reached now after a little bit more than six months um, 16 percent um, what uh, you can see it's not only one way, of course you, we, were, we were one day also in 
in a small loss at the beginning of July, um, but in total you can see uh, it's always coming to a new peak, to a new high, uh, with a yeah, quite um, small volatility in the in the performance or in the profit itself. And um, I think this year, like we saw just a few examples, there were many more uh, possibilities. At the end of the year, you are always smarter than before. But um, I think it gives you some good, really good advantages. And I just want to say that um, this really great year for trading, if we forget about maybe the first two, three months um, and for some stocks when, which really went down and uh, never came back to the same level, this is um, something special. We will not see the same way next year. Of course, in the next year, if it's getting like maybe a little bit um, less volatile in the market, we can also increase, increase the um, position size. But I hope nobody will do the mistake and think the next years will always move in the same way what we had this year. So um, just keep in mind that there was really something special what we had. And um, don't increase your risk, don't increase your quantity because um, you had maybe a good performance. Um, try to keep on the same um, strategy what you had now and um, um, always remember that uh, not every year will be the same. But um, after we had a short overview about this performance the year, I also want to show you of course what went wrong this year, what was not working like um, most of the people expected and I think the easiest here is really two sections um, which I want to mention. Well, first of all is all the airlines, of course airlines suffered a lot, if you check American Airlines or Delta Airlines, we had here a price of $30 at the moment, American Airlines is here at um, $15, so half of the price from January and this is only because um, the government in the US gave them a lot of money, same like here with TUI or Lufthansa in Germany. Um, otherwise, uh, I think these stocks, they will be almost uh, bankrupt and this will really take a long time to see them back on an oil level, what we had at the beginning of the year. But um, even worse than airlines, I think this year was everything related to oil. If it's the oil AT ETF from the US, um, United States Oil Fund, what was in the beginning of the year almost $100. Um, went down in yeah in total to 10 or 20 dollars but if you remember um, back at the beginning of the corona crisis we had uh, even a negative uh, price in the oil futures this uh, was something that never happened before and this is i think another example that um, to create a strategy from uh, past information or from some back tests might not work in the future because you will always have something like this what never happened before and I think it's more important to calculate your risk or to adjust your risk for something what can't happen or what you think um, can happen in the worst case scenario um, because this is um, something what can really destroy your portfolio at the end if you are invested in something like um, oil futures in a time what we had here in March. And um, everything what is also depending on the oil price itself, if it's Exxon Mobil, if it's BP, um, depending really on the price. Um, here's an example for Exxon Mobil. Um, January was $70. Now at the moment we are here $40. So we can say most of these oil companies they are still 50% in minus comparing to the beginning of the year and I don't really think that they will uh, recover um, at the beginning of the um, next year to this um, oil price levels. This will maybe, I would say, never happen or really take a, a longer time. Um, but as I said, it will be an interesting year and I hope I could give you some overview, some information um, about all our trading view uh, year. And if you have any comments, uh, please subscribe to our channel, go to our website, contact us. Uh, we will be happy to um, answer all the comments or all the questions you would like to have. Um, have a great day and uh, thank you very much.